So, the original version of this video had, right now, playing the video for Life on Mars by David Bowie. But from beyond the grave, he says that that copyright is not allowed. The man's dead. He's not going to really get the royalties from this, is he? Anyway, so we would have Life on Mars will start playing with actual David Bowie's video, and then we'd transition into my normal intro. I'd still carry on, so there we go, Life on Mars. But my video was blocked. So instead, you're going to have me. It's a god awful affair. And his name is jo it's John Bonday. Hello Internet, it is John Bunday, and today I wanted to show off a homebrew game that I got from Mega Drive. Uh, so we'll do a bit of gameplay in a bit, but I thought I would start with uh, showing you what I've got, and that is... Life on Mars! So, those who may have seen my 52 challenge video have already, no, already got this, but uh, for those who haven't, or more interested in what the game is like, I thought I would go into more depth. So, first of all, if you just look at it, you would have pretty much, just by looking at that, you'd have no idea this wasn't an officially released game. I mean, there's no Sega sticker, but, you know, it's just the quality of the box. I mean, there's no Sega branding on it at all, so that would be a bit of a giveaway. But if you were just to pick it up and have a quick glance, it'd be like, oh... This could have been, you know, released back in the day. Uh, even got like hand tab. So if we open it up, okay, and see the instrument. First of all, so I'm not sure if this is just my one or not, but um, there's a bit of a rattle on it. So maybe the PCB board could be a bit more screwed in, but um, a nice glossy sticker. And even has on the top, you know, the name of the company. So, uh, Kai Magazine Software, 2021. I think 2021 is the name of the company. Because <laughs> it has on the front, 2022 on the box. So I'm not sure if that is a mismatch between the labels and the box art. Anyway. But yeah, so, um, so yeah, I've completed this now. Great game. But you'll see more about that in a bit. Okay, and then we have... The uh, Mars Scientific Colony 001 Technician Operations Manual. Welcome to Mars, baby! So it's a bit of a thinner manual. But, oh, it's a, you know, I mean, the outside's colour, obviously, but, you know, the inside. That is... Congratulations! You have been selected to perform repair and maintenance services on the first Martian scientific colony. We understand this could be a bit overwhelming, but you have nothing to worry about. You will be perfectly safe at all times. <laughs> this is a simple repair mission. Piece of cake. You will travel from Earth to Mars on the new interplanetary ship, the UNSS Barcelona. The spacecraft allows to travel to Mars in just seven months. Once the UNSS Barcelona reaches Mars' orbit, you will descend to the colony using an Explorer class single seat ship. Once you land in the Mars colony, you must immediately report to the command center. The colony is divided in three levels. Make blah, 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 blah. Okay, now that we're going to the actual. Uh, what the different areas are like. But uh, yeah, just more color. I think, yeah, this is. I love it when you actually get a proper colour manual. Goes through the various areas. Shows you like the upgrades you can pick up. It's quite cool. And uh, what the upgrade stations look like. The controls, how you save, and special thanks. We wish to thank from the bottom of our hearts to all those who volunteered to be in the first batch of colonists so the Mars Colony Project could become a reality. We are sure that those volunteers will live a long and happy life on Mars. Aww. 
And now I... Hey, Mike the Retro Gamer Boy, John Hancock. <laughs> John Riggs. So this isn't done in alphabetical order. This is done, I think, on how an order of people purchasing. And I'm going to see where I am in the list. Oh, wow, I'm at the bottom of the first page. Oh, Christ, come on. Yeah, zoom in. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh, well, okay, I'm there. If you buy the game, you'll see I'm there. Wow, okay. Excellent. Cool, I didn't realise I was actually in the manual. Well, actually, I think it was probably mentioned at the time, but I completely forgot. So. Oh, cool. And, yeah, the back showing, uh, like, the make the people created it. Now. We'll open up so you can see the kind of postcards that uh, came with the, uh, so back uh, they all have this, the uh, URL, so they have, so that's the artwork from the front for the box. Next one, that's pretty much uh, the, that is good quality art actually, nice prints. And uh, then two the same, I'm not sure if that's a mistake, if I should have two the same, or if it's meant to be two different ones. But either way, so cool. So that's everything that comes in the box. Oh, forgot to say. Uh, the sleeve, so like that. But also, if you wish to prefer, have the uh, first style Mega Drive kind of look, then yeah, I prefer. I'm going to go with that one. With the homebrew games, I keep switching. Like for each game, I go different like with um demons of astaborg 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 i've gone with the japanese look i quite like that so okay so get that back in put that back together and now let's uh look at some gameplay okay so let's take a look at some gameplay i did do a video on the demo last year so it hasn't changed too much since then, but for those who haven't seen that or need a refresher or wonder if anything's changed, we'll have a quick look. So this is all the same as the demo. So I'm not... I'll show a bit of it. I won't go through all the um, text, but you get some nice footage here. Okay. Okay, so we'll have a quick look at the options first. And it's just purely difficulty. I've played it on normal. I haven't tried the other two, so we'll carry that. Um, there is only one save file, so just be aware of that. So if you let someone else borrow the game, then they will overwrite your save file. We'll go to a new game. <clears throat> And this is very reminiscent, I think, of Metroid. <laughs> but I just, I love like the effect they had with like the sand blowing in the wind and like the backgrounds to show like the, uh, the dunes of Mars, you know. Um, right. Again, I'm just gonna skip over the text because I have covered it in my previous video, so. <clears throat> so you have your shield and energy. Those are pretty much your two main stats, or so there, there is no ammo, that is your energy and your shield. The energy automatically replenishes, so if I show, that's, if I, A is shoot, if you see it goes down, then you have to wait for that to re go back up. And shield, you have to, you restore with pickups from defeated enemies. 
you get upgrades to increase the, the I say size, the, the quantity of both of these, so that you have more uh, longer lasting shield and shoot for longer. Um, so it is a three button game. So A is shoot, B is jump, C right now does nothing because that is your secondary weapon which we don't have yet. Again, just take in that scenery, people. I think it's gorgeous myself. So, right now, the enemies are spongy because um, there is an upgrade system. So as you defeat enemies that pick up, not only do these capsules re-fill uh, your shield, they will also act as the currency for the game as well. And then you could buy upgrades to increase the damage output from your weapons, increase the amount of energy. Um, you don't increase your shield though, just through um, pickups you get through the game. But, I mean, it's satisfying to come back to this area later and just one-shot all these enemies when you've actually got to um, upgrade. I won't destroy everything. We'll uh, do some... Oh, yeah, come on. No, oh, I didn't die. Okay. And there is no knockback, which is great. I want to show off some of what the game has. As this is the main lift that you have. This is where you access all the different areas of the game. And this is where you save, which we won't. It also, sorry, um, if you stand in front of one of these, they will also refill your shield. And then you can say start to interact and like save the game. These are the upgrade stations, so uh, here you can do the rifle, and here you can upgrade your energy. We'll go down, I'm not going to show you too much more. You should play the game and find out for yourself. The game took me about five hours, I think. Depends how much time you want to spend, like, you know, grinding, really. So you have uh, the natural caves. Vegetation? On Mars? Now you can see, can't get there at the moment. I think just the walking animation is just, I just love it. Like the, the, the frames they've got there for the walking just looks perfect to me. I don't think the music is probably coming over too well in this video. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's no like, like uh, orchestral things or anything like that. So, but the music, I think, works for building the atmosphere of the game. I think we might leave it there now. Uh, I'll leave a link. See, upgrade, you have to have an upgrade to get. Um, and the description if you wish to purchase your own copy. At the moment, I believe it is only physical. You can't buy digital. Uh, that being said, if you do want to buy digital, then you could buy the Steam version. So, which is different in the sense of it's not the, an identical copy of this game. This game was made after that for the Mega Drive. So, and it has achievements, things like that. So, I uh, hope you've enjoyed that look at Life on Mars. Until next time, catch you all later.